The base of the cartilaginous portion of the eustachian tube lies directly under the mucous membrane of the nasal part of the pharynx, where it forms an elevation, the torus tuberius, the torus of the auditory tube, or cushion, behind the pharyngeal orifice of the tube. The torus tuberius is very close to the tubal tonsil, which is sometimes also called the tonsil of torus tuberius. Equating the torus with its tonsil however might be seen as incorrect or imprecise. Two folds run posteriorly and anteriorly. Posteriorly, the vertical fold of mucous membrane, the salpingopharyngeal fold stretches from the lower part of the torus tuberius. It contains the salpingopharyngeus muscle which origin from the superior border of medial lamina, of the cartilage. It passes downward and blends with the posterior fasciculus of the palatopharyngeus muscle. Anteriorly, the second and smaller fold, the salpingopalatine fold, smaller than the salpingopharyngeal fold, contains some fibers of muscle, called salpingopalatine muscle by Simpkins. It stretches from the superior border of lateral lamina of the cartilage, antero-inferiorly, to the back of the hard palate. The tensor valley palatini does not contribute to the fold, since the origin is deep to the cartilaginous opening. 